This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Al Kane. I'm back with another tour review, and today, Bug Bite. Or this way, Bug Bite, yeah. <laughs> Uh, basically, um, I got this guy because no, this way. I got this guy part of my um, compensation package when I uh, called Asbro saying that I was missing the crotch piece on Agent Knight, uh, the crossover with Knight Rider, and they sent me Paleo Trex RC and this guy, and I really wanted to have this guy um, reviewed just because um, I don't think I've reviewed this mold on the channel before. Uh, I did Bumblebee, but not, I don't have the, you know, the yellow the hubcap, I don't have the yellow Bumblebee with the uh, Cliff Jumper mold, I think, i not sure I reviewed Cliff Jumper either, so, you know, new mold, and I'm really impressed with the paint, I thought it was going to be colored plastic, like, you know, white colored plastic, but everything is painted, like, there's a really nice shine to the car mode, so, really like this set, and, you know, it's the same stupid gun and everything, so, all right, so before I do that review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my voice actor interviews playlist if you want to hear stories from the actors. And now let's roll the intro. ugly one okay out of the box uh, which you know it's the mercenary symbol is a nice addition uh, bug bite and that's uh, pretty much it you know it's generation select box are quite plain uh, accessory you have like these three P's that form the cannon this opens up because it's gonna be a I don't know a skid plate underneath the car mode you have those two guns and uh, those two pegs. Now those two pegs uh, go on the side here, as we all know. And so that's, you know, uh, you can use them as uh, like uh, hand protectors, uh, but really it's to, for the gun, uh, you put it like that and then you can, oh, that's a tight fit, you can, uh, you know, put him on the ground, and that's a machine gun, bazooka, whatever type uh, weapon. Uh, but I've seen a lot of people posing bug bite with a gun underneath, like this, and this. Don't know why, I don't know the reference. Maybe it's because in the uh, Cyberverse show, he had a minigun. <laughs> hey. I like the fact that. He has the mercenary symbol because in the in both Cyberverse and Netflix, that's uh, that's the faction he had. Uh, I think that's cool. Uh, the I'm I'm kind of wanting an exhaust now, but I don't think I'll go out on a limb to, to get it. I mean, it's it's I don't know. This is a, an extra figure. I like it. I like the paint, like all the white, except maybe the arms. Yeah, so everything that is seen in car mode is painted and the rest is colored plastic because there's a nice reflectiveness to it. I really like that. Uh, the bumper here, you know, it's painted. Uh, no, I like it. And, you know, Bumblebee was, uh, well, the Netflix version was painted, but I think the four-pack version was uh, just colored plastic and so is Clip Jumper. So, yeah. Uh, nice bumblebee head sculpt with the red eyes and he looks good so yeah it's a nice figure and then uh, you know standard war for cybertron stuff uh, the head rotates uh, 360 uh, with uh, you know you can look you have a bit of a tilt on the head uh, a bit of attitude on each side you do have a full ferris wheel arm extends bands uh, the hand rotate doesn't move back and forth uh, you have a wonderful Johnny Cage 
uh, and with the uh, you know feet articulation he stands pretty good uh, you have a rotation while well, this here you have oh you don't have a knee rotation that's okay most figure did you have a good knee bend you have the you know rocker but you don't have a foot back and forth so articulation are a bit limited and you know I remember people complaining about the price point for the side of this figure but I guess we got all used to that now <laughs> yellow all right, let's do some size comparisons to clear the table. Let's go with G1 Hubcap, because I don't have a G1 Bug Bite, but I'm thinking of getting one now. Fellow War for Cybertron Netflix show Mercenary Dirge. And the other two molds I have uh, for this guy. So you have, you know, the body of Cliff Jumper with the head of Bumblebee, same head. I think that he's the only one that should have came with that... Uh, that gun, because that is cartoon accurate, or pi pilot episode accurate, actually. So, but I like it. It's it's cool to have these uh, these three together. And now let's put him in car mode. I already put him in, I don't know, jet key mode. Uh, so basically you take the little clips, put it here, have this here, put the gun, and now he's able to surf. Kinda, so anyway, but I really do like the way he looks uh, in car mode. The um, paint is really fantastic. Like it's all shiny, uh, you know, reflective, painted with the mercenary symbol. Uh, yeah, can't complain there. And the back cleans up really nice. Yeah, sure, you, you know, he's holding uh, the, the shield with his hands, but I mean, you barely see any robot part so I think it's a really well done um, paint job and car mode I like it and it's it's not you know the cliff jumper mold it's, it's not really cartoon accurate for what he, he was in the show because he was you know shorter but uh, this works all right so let's do some quick comparison uh, what do we have alternator sideswipe you know huge Tiny. Voyager class wheeljack, which, you know, exhaust relationship stuff. And masterpiece scale kit. So, yeah, way bigger. All right, back to robot mode. One thing I forgot to show is that you can take that, you know, the back end of the car and put it in his hand so that he's wielding a shield. And. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't. Oh, forgot to twist his legs. Great job. Dude. All right, so there you go. Take that off. Uh, put the gun back in. Way more badass. And then you take that uh, and put it, pick it on the back like this. And there you go. Looks a little nicer. So now he's being a badass with dual wielding firepower action all right well that's it guys thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back everyone on the way and remember nothing in life gives a right to be an asshole take care